Hello everyone, this is Akib Zaved. Welcome to you all on Pavli. And in this video, I would like to show you an amazing automation technique by which you can automatically send a photo that you have tweeted on Twitter to your Pinterest account as a new pin automatically. So guys, this automation is going to be really helpful if you are posting many photos on Twitter on daily basis and you want to share the, those same photos with your Pinterest community as well. Okay, so here you don't have to switch to and fro between Twitter and Pinterest. You just have to tweet a photo in your Twitter account and the same photo or image will be created as a new pin in your Pinterest as well. Okay, so let us begin. So guys, to create this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is, which is an integration and automation tool. And the flow of this automation will look something like this. As in when you post an image here in Twitter, the same image will be created as a new pin in Pinterest automatically. Okay, so let's start setting up this automation together. So guys, the first step to create this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard here. So guys, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect trial account in just two minutes. After that, you can sign in and reach here on the dashboard. And here you have to start working by creating a workflow. Okay, so to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable or relevant name to this workflow. Okay, so let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as create pins in Pinterest from Twitter posts automatically. Okay, so click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. Okay, and on this page, you will find these two things first, the trigger and the action. So our automation work on this, these two things, the trigger is an, uh, an occurrence of any event. Okay. So guys trigger here works as a signal to Pabli Connect that if this e event occurs, then Pabli Connect, you have to start working and you have to perform any action. Okay. So in our, in our use case, the trigger would be a new post, an image post that is being tweeted on Twitter and the action to this trigger would be to create a pin out of that same tweet uh, in Pinterest. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up this trigger. Click here on this trigger window and from this choose app field, you have to choose your trigger application. So in our case, it is Twitter. Okay. So you have to type Twitter here and you will find Twitter in here. You can see this is the logo of Twitter. Select the application and then you have to select the trigger event. So the, it, so Pabli Connect provides you many trigger events. So here you can see we have this new tweet. So it will trigger this automation when you tweet something new. Okay. And you can see new tweet in list. So it triggers when a new tweet in a specific list, you choose new follower of me, new liked tweet, new follower user tweet. Okay. So you can connect Twitter in myriad ways. Uh, you can see here. Okay. So here I'm selecting this new tweet because I want to trigger this workflow when and when I tweet something new. Okay. So I'm selecting here new tweet. So select here, here new tweet option and then click on this connect button. And from this window, you have to select this add new connection and then click on connect with Twitter. Okay. So we are making connection with Twitter. Okay. So it will bring you to the login window of your Twitter account. If you are not logged in as I have already logged in here, you can see it is showing me this to authorize this app to uh, fetch the data. Okay. So you have to click on this authorize app button. Okay. And then it will be connected with your Twitter account like this. Okay. So you can see it started showing connected. Now, when you click here on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of a most recent tweet that you have tweeted here in Twitter. So this is my most recent or the last tweet that I have tweeted and it has this image. Okay. So I want to uh, create a pin out of this image in my Pinterest account. So for that, First, let's capture the response. First, let's capture the details of this post from Twitter to here in Pabli Connect. So click here on save and send test request and it will fetch the data like this. You can see here on the response rece received section, it is showing us the created date here and time and the text that you have posted. You can see the social dilemma that I have written here. Okay, it is showing up here 
and here you can see the media url the http link okay and the display url and many technical details also of the tweet okay like these so it is showing up the twitter type as photo okay right now let's create a pin of this same uh, photo okay for that you have to come to this action window and you have to connect your action application which is pinterest so you have to type pinterest here and you will find the logo like this select it and here you have to select the action event now so the action event would be is to create a pin in pinterest so you have all these action events create board it will create a board create pin it will create a new pin update board update board sections so you can have all these uh, action events here so you can do all these things automatically okay so i am selecting here create pin and then click on this connect button and from this uh, window select this add new connection option then click on connect with pinterest okay so that will bring you to the login window if you are not logged in as i have already logged in it is just asking asking me to give the access to send the photo and create a pin so click on give access that is completely safe okay then you can see the authorization getting successful here and now we are connected with pinterest now here you have to select the board in which you want to create that pin so in pinterest you can have boards and i have these boards here uh this one pably this is my board so i'm going to select this board from here like this okay now it is asking for the image url so guys we have captured the data of a a photo that I have tweeted in Twitter in this first tab. Okay, and here it is showing us the uh, URLs, and here you'll find the URL of your image that you have tweeted also. Let me scroll down here and let us check. And here you can see in this extended entities media URL, we have the image link. Okay, so we have this JPG link. So I'm going to use this label only to map the data of this image. Okay so here i'm coming back to second step and when you click here on this image field it will show you this previous step that is the twitter and when you click on it it will show you all the details that you have captured previously in this step so from here only when you scroll down you will find this media url okay so just click on it to map this jpg link so uh, this is how you can map link so when you map this link, what will happen after uh, setting up this automation? The next time when you tweet any photo in Twitter, the data will be fetched automatically. The data will be mapped and automatically a new pin will be created. Let me show you how. Now it is asking for the title of a pin that you want to create in Pinterest. Okay, so you can manually give the title also here if you are uh, if you want to create pins. Uh, with the same title every time when you post a photo in twitter you can give that manually or if you want to change the title of a pin every time you post a photo you can use the data that you have collected and from here you can select the caption that you have typed here in twitter so i have typed here the social dilemma so i can get the details here you can see i have this text but guys here you you can notice with the text we have this uh, http some kind of link also okay so uh, i can actually remove this remove this http thing uh, with the help of a feature by pably let me show you so here uh, after this step after after the trigger step i am going to click here on this plus icon and that will open up another action window and from this action window i am going to choose a feature by Pabli which is called text formatter okay so search for text formatter here this is it select this okay then it here it will ask for the action event and so here you can choose the action event as a uh, split text so it will split a string into a list of sub strings given by a separator okay so I am selecting this split text option and then click on connect and now it is asking which text you want to split so guys i want to split this string of text let me show you in which we have the caption of twitter post let me show you when you scroll down a bit more okay so here is the text field text label and here is the 
caption with this uh, something some kind of link okay so i'm going to select this label here in this text formatter when you click on split text to split it will show you this twitter option select it and from here map this label okay like this then it is asking for separator so guys i want to separate this string from this dot from these dots okay i want this http thing separated out with this with this caption okay so i'm going to put a dot here like this and now it is asking for the segment index so here you can choose the part of the segment uh, choose the segment of the string which you want to separate out so when you click on first it will separate out this first uh, thing before this dot okay if you want second it will show you the second thing last last thing second to last so it gives you all these options for different kind of strings here i'm selecting all so it will separate out all things let me show you so i am clicking on save and send test request and let, let's see how it how it got separated how the string will look like and now you can see the string of text gets separated here it is showing me the social dilemma then in this result two and three it is showing me this uh the link okay so this is of no use i just want to use this so our work is done now i am going to select this result zero label here in this step okay where in this title step so when you click on title okay so it is now not showing the previous steps because i have created this step just now uh, actually i have to create this step before this one but just to show you why i am using this i have created after this step so don't worry you, you can make the connection again with pinterest click on connected button and from here now you can choose existing connection because we have just made a connection before so click on save here and pinterest will be connected again and now when you click here on this title it will show you these previous steps and from this text formatter by pavli i am going to map this result zero label where we have the caption okay and if you want to put some description you can write the description for now i am leaving it blank you can do it and in the alter text if you want to read aloud uh, the text is, uh, in pinterest you can choose this you can fill this in the link if you want to attach any destination destination link if you want to redirect your pinterest users to some other page you can uh, paste the link here right now i'm leaving this link and now when when i click here and save and send test request it will check the connection and a test pin will be created in my pinterest account okay so let me show you my pinterest board here so you can see i have these 23 pins in this pabli board okay now let's check our connection i am clicking here on save and send test request okay and let's see how it will look and it started showing this response here in pabli connect now let's check in my pinterest i am refreshing my board here and you can see it started showing this pin also okay so, so a new pin got created here like this and with the same caption the social dilemma okay and this is the same tweet i have tweeted here okay so this is how it is going to happen now we have completed our automation setup and now you just have to click on save and guys you have to set up this automation only once you have to make connections with public connect only once after that as and when you will post a new photo any new photo here in twitter the same photo will be created as a new pin in pinterest here like this okay so now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all in this trigger window i connected my trigger application which was twitter with this trigger event new tweet and capture the da test data of any photo that i have um, recently posted okay after that i applied this text formatter to split this text which i want to use as the caption in my pin okay so i had splitted this text okay after that i in this another action step i connected pinterest to create a pin and i mapped the details that i want to create uh, send to pinterest like the media url and the result label okay and we have seen that our connection was working properly and guys you can use this same workflow because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account and start using this automation instantly 
So guys, this is it for today's video. If you got any query regarding our business automation, you can ask and discuss your queries from this forum. And guys, if you want to check the pricing of this application, you can use this link. And if our automations are helping you, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.